Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true mouth black community. Again, we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. Peace, family. My name is Vicki Diller for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up and share the broadcast. That way the notifications will go out for others to know that we're here. And for that, we say thank you so very much, family. Certainly, you know that uh, Mr. Ruto, the president of Kenya, has been under fire, of course, along with the United States, because Kenya has been willing to send um, many of its security and troops uh, to involve itself in the conflict in Haiti, or some noise, I-80, uh, yes. So um, that's my Mississippi little accent, so you will excuse me. Uh, if I mispronounce a portion of that and don't come for me so much in the chat. Some of you were something else. <laughs> you, you, you spend a lot more time on the warfare with our people than, than tripping uh, about certain little things that, that anyway, let me get off of that. You know where I'm going. Uh, anyway, you understand that Kenya has been in um, a lot of trouble and gotten a lot of attention for involving itself as an African, a black nation uh, in the mess making that's going on in um, Haiti. There's been so much we know exploitation amongst the United States and Western countries to exploit Haiti uh, and to find another face, a black face, to cover up the mess making that the United States and her Western allies are the ones that are historically known to be making there. Well, this absolutely amazing Kenyan journalist by the name of Ayub Abba Abdikar, I hope I pronounced it right, <laughs> He stood up here recently when your uh, president of Kenya came here, the president of Kenya came here to ask a very poignant question. Watch this brief clip. Let me ask um, Ayub Abdikadir from Kenya for the next question. Is Ayub Oya? Ayub. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. One question. And this is on Haiti. <laughs> uh, president Biden. Kenya is rather lead, doing the heavy lifting in a turbulent region, Somalia, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Washington, as you have mentioned, has committed millions of dollars for the cause in Haiti. Isn't it ironic that while America is ending its forever wars in Afghanistan, the latest in 2021, under your leadership, when you withdrew troops from Kabul, and that you're committing Kenya to another foreign wars 12,000 kilometers away from Nairobi? I mean, why the discrepancy? Why the dichotomy? While you are on ending your forever wars, overseas wars, yet you are committing Kenya to Haiti. Can you explain that? Haiti is in an area of the Caribbean that is very volatile. There's a lot going on in this hemisphere. And we're in a situation where we want to do all we can without us looking like America once again is stepping over and deciding this is what must be done. Haitians are looking for help, as well as the folks in the Caribbean are looking for help. I agree with President Biden that Kenya's participation in Haiti is not so much about what happened in the past. It's about what we believe in, the peace and security of humanity. And we don't find that the U.S. is committing Kenya because the U.S. cannot commit Kenya. I am the president of Kenya. It's me to make that decision. Wow, did you hear him make such excellent points? Did you hear him say how uh, Kenya has recently started to do a lot of the heavy lifting? They're already doing, uh, sending some of their troops in Somalia and Sudan and Congo and so forth. And now he says the United States has committed Kenya to Haiti while the United States is ending some of her forever wars. And uh, Joe Biden was the first one to talk and he didn't deny th that uh, they were uh, trying to commit Kenya. In fact, he went so far as to say, which I thought was revealing, that the United States did not want to be seen. He didn't want he he didn't want America to look like we were the ones that were 
on the front lines or the face of that. I'm paraphrasing. Haiti is in an area of the Caribbean that is very volatile. There's a lot going on in this hemisphere. And we're in a situation where we want to do all we can without us looking like America once again is stepping over and deciding this is what must be done. Haitians are looking for help as well as the folks in the Caribbean are looking for help. Isn't that an interesting way to respond? A few seconds later, I guess Mr. Ruto had to come clean it up and say as well, the United States can't commit Kenya because I'm the president of Kenya. Did you hear him say that? Kenya's participation in Haiti is not so much about what happened in the past. It's about what we believe in, the peace and security of humanity. And we don't find that the U.S is committing Kenya because the U.S. cannot commit Kenya. I am the president of Kenya. It's me to make that decision. Mr. Ruto, you should have told Joe Biden not to tell the truth. You should have told him not to slip up and say that America did not want to be, a, uh, to be the apparent face. That's a strange way to respond to that. And shout out to that beautiful Kenyan journalist because I believe he definitely exposed what many of us certainly felt, but he simply said it to their face right here in the nation's capital and really a global headquarters in Washington, D.C. We're going to continue to keep um, our eye on uh, Kenya in particular and President Ruto because President Ruto, aside from the work that you're doing there in Kenya, the suspicious work that you're doing there in Kenya, we know that you've been making some very strange moves with the EU. I know I discussed here a um, recent trade agreement that you entered into with them, but it appears that a part of that trade agreement was you coming out saying how you are, um, how you stand with Ukraine. And the United States also just made a recent move here by considering Kenya to be one of the uh, few non ally uh, partners of NATO. That is extraordinarily suspect. And many people are speculating about just how far it's going to go. With a very, 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 very melanated Kenya end up actually being a part of NATO. <laughs> now, to a degree, I'm being funny, but to a degree, I'm not. Because the way you move moving, sir, is quite suspicious. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it below in the comments. My name is Vicki Diller, beloved. Be sure to check out my channel at VickiDiller.tv and my website at VickiPlanet.com for my products and services and especially my spiritual school uh, that's ship shaping and changing so many lives for a very affordable price. You just go to VickiPlanet.com to check that out. That's V-I-C-K-I Planet.com. I can't wait to see you again.